Hi, everyone. Welcome to this week's State of the Union Address from Sales Management Solutions. I'm Tara Johnson. Here is our manufacturer's dashboard for last week. In the top right, or sorry, top left corner, we've got our open ops. Um, those are total open ops with all manufacturers. Uh, and then right below that, I created a new chart for us this week on open ops created just in this quarter. You'll see a new manufacturer listed on there with our um, rep firm that we subcontract through for H2O, H2O Coil. But I just wanted to point out we have had quite a few Ultravation Ops open this uh, quarter, which is nice to see, and then also a Red Devil one. Our middle slides, we've got the activities over the last two quarters, and the one below that is our activities just last week. So these include, again, all of our emails, phone calls, video trainings, and meetings, um, and then our surveys as well. The right side here, we have our cases and order targets, which again, we'll take a closer look at. Here are the graphs for that. And I did wanna just throw out some numbers because I think it's a little bit easier than, um, than looking at the charts. For cases created in April, we had 466, and now already in May, we have 263. Um, and just the first 10 days alone in April, we had 160 versus 200 for May. So we are seeing a little bit of an upswing there, which is nice. Um, and connected to that is our order targets as well. We've seen an increases there in, in those two, which is fantastic. Our April order targets were 121 and May was 73 so far. So again, I mean, we're not even halfway through the month yet. The first 10 days of April, we had 46 order targets um, and that was $113,000 in orders. For the first 10 days in May, we have 55 already and we have $294,000 in order targets. So that is wonderful to see. Here is our uh, account activity for GeoPoint for the US and then a closer look at the Northeast. Um, again, all territories are represented on our calls. So we love to see the color coding on these charts. Here's our COVID surveys from last week. All territories are represented on our, our surveys from last week. So we do like to make sure that we're spreading the love around and visiting branches uh, through phone and video when we can't be there in person. Our contractors are loud in the branches. It's still more on the no side than yes, but we're really hoping that we're gonna see some changes in these numbers soon with con you know, construction opening more. Um, visitors from sales reps are not still uh, going on, as we know, but that's okay. We're constantly in communication with them and getting emails. In fact, we did get one from Meyer Supply last week that they're going to be allowing um, some reps by appointment only or you know, just um, changing their procedures a little bit more. So more to come on that hopefully in the next couple weeks. Sales are trending down still, about 57% of our wholesalers are reporting that. Um, so we'll see it, but I think that we're really gonna start to see some changes. As you can see our next graph, construction sites are still either closed or non-essential or essential, sorry. But I think um, by June, we're gonna start to see the yes a little bit more, uh, which will be wonderful. And then our state of staffing is still pretty even with being fully staffed or essential only. So not too many um, you know, have, have closed or anything like that. So still rolling along on, uh, on our sales calls. And with those, we've got our survey links as always. Um, the first one is our COVID survey, which we use to get the results of that previous slide. And then the second one is our anonymous state of business survey, which we would love your feedback for. Um, again, it's just a little insight into how you're operating and um, so we can gather that information in our presentations as well. So we hope you enjoyed this video and we'll check out our blog as well, info, or sorry, www.stmsteam.co and uh, we will tune in again next week. Thanks so much.